At the moment, the Pentagon has not agreed to release the information or allow congressmen to witness the biological remains. Present at the event were two beings recovered in Peru, specifically in a diatom mine. These dried bodies were discovered among the cities of Palpa and Nazca in 2017. The investigation into these bodies has been extensive, involving investigative journalists and scientists alike. The presenter began by introducing the researcher, Joyce Mantilla, who had been researching this topic from the very beginning. The question on everyone's mind was whether these beings had already been identified. During the presentation, it was revealed that the bodies, as declared by the attending scientists, were not of human origin. They did not belong to our terrestrial evolutionary lineage, and it was suggested that their existence ceased without any further evolution. According to the National Autonomous University of Mexico, carbon dating analysis indicated that these beings were approximately a thousand years old. Interestingly, these bodies were not recovered from crashed spaceships but were found buried in diatom mines, specifically in diatomaceous earth. Diatoms are fossilized algae that date back around 17 million years. These ancient phytoplankton, once abundant, disappeared and fossilized over time. Diatomaceous earth possesses remarkable properties, including its ability to desiccate body, preventing the growth of bacteria or fungi, thus allowing these bodies to remain preserved for a millennium. These beings were essentially mummies, and their bodies remained intact and unmanipulated on the inside. They exhibited a range of extraordinary characteristics that made them truly unique. Se trata de momias, se trata de cuerpos que están íntegros, completos, que no han sido manipulados en su interior, y que tienen una serie de elementos que los hacen verdaderamente extraordinarios. This one's name is Clara Zero. The mummies from Nazca had some distinct features. They had three fingers on their hands, with three standing fingers in each hand. These mummies included complete body specimens and skulls. Notably, there were three different beings with varying dimensions. A public corridor provided evidence of these facts, and the group was proceeding to the X-ray room to get a closer look. Someone inquired about some small objects, asking, what are the little eggs? The answer was given, the three you see are embryos, theoretically. We were able to access them, and we can show you. Now, let me show you a picture of them, and you can already see the plaque in the mirror. Then, attention turned to a ring, and here you can see a ring. It's worn on the phalanx in between, made of the same alloy. A question followed, what material is the ring made of? The same alloy. The response clarified, it's made of gold or possibly platinum gold, a combination of metals. We haven't delved into more details to avoid damaging it. Describing the hand's measurements, it was mentioned. The hand measures 45 centimeters and also comes with one of those metal plates, as you can see. There's the plaque. We can't determine the purpose of those plates. These beings had three fingers and six phalanges, twice as many as humans. Regarding the size, it was noted, but because of the size, it would belong to a being much larger than the ones we are familiar with. The skull also exhibited trinectile characteristics. The presenter asked, so, according to your experience, it would be a real body. The response confirmed, yes, it is. An X-ray comparison was then presented, showing one of the mummies next to a human for reference. Here are the collarbones, they pointed out. The objects in the center resemble little eggs, though it's difficult to say definitively. You can also see a strange object. In this image, there are ribs and hips and it appears authentic. 